Trini! I'm so excited to be doing it. It's so subtle. This is like the scariest thing we can think about in Closet Confessions Neon. Right? Yeah. I mean, Jemima, you're wearing biscuit beige right now. Yes. Yes. So how scary is the concept of neon for you? I love neon pink, yeah. but I'm uncertain about the other colours. Okay. So I think neon is an acquired taste, but I think that for those of you who have watched my closet confessions for the last two years, two years, that there isn't a week that doesn't go by that I will add something in neon, however small, to just change up an outfit. Yeah, it makes it so modern, yeah. doesn't it? But you can start tiny, Jemima, with neon. I mean, I am in the highlighter dress. The dress of all dresses. The dress of all dresses, a Zara dress, which they also do in a sort of wintry jewel tone. Yes. But I love this one, and I've actually even thrown on my infamous um, necklace. And a very funny thing about this necklace is it was H&M, and I got it for three ninety nine, and cost per wear is literally one one less than one p. Yeah. Uh, no, like a hundredth of one piece. So could you just start with that necklace? You could start with that necklace. A okay. tiny thing, and it would just make things feel a little bit different. You could mm -hmm. start with some earrings. You know, I've got like Liat Ginsberg, who you all know now. She makes this jewelry made of resin and, and different plastics. And I love this jewelry. It's very light to wear. Lots of people do this kind of jewelry. And you can get stuff when neon works really well and it's cut strips of perspex yeah. um and i just think neon looks very good in a perspex in jewelry yeah, so I, I adore that but these are really pretty i got these from phoenix and it's just that sort of how bright are you going so to me that's a very bright orange mm -hmm. as opposed to perhaps a neon orange but yeah you know, just about yeah and it's adding that element now deciding which neon you are mm -hmm. is probably an important way to start yes yeah so you think you would feel most comfortable in pink because yes, you love pink so, I do. so you could start in like if you had a, a a neon bag for example the thing with neon they all look good together as well i know they do look good together. yeah but they look great with white they look yeah. great with silver i think neon and black you know what's very interesting is i always say never wear black with color but the only time i have worn black with color is when i've worn bright yellow and black neon is so strong that nothing will kill it. That's what it is. Nothing will kill neon. So and that color is not being evolved or, or, or killed by the black. Yeah, I don't even notice the black. Yeah. I just see the pink of the yeah. powder. So I'm gonna just do a few examples from the simplest bit of neon to the full enchilada. Some of the best skin tones for neons are surprisingly skin tones without much red in them. So if you have a cool ebony skin tone, phenomenal in neon, phenomenal. But equally, if you have black hair and a very alabaster skin tone, Neon can look incredible, worn with nude, like a sort of neon with a nude, like your, I'm just gonna show the bottom of this, but that and neon, when you're really pale, can actually be beautiful. Yeah. It's interesting how you can play with it. So if you are warm toned and you want to so wear neon. So if you're warm toned, maybe yellow neon near their face doesn't work, but pink does. I mm. think pink you can do, you know, if you're Carol skin toned and you want to wear that lovely pink. And I think that if you've got slight redness in your skin you go more towards a yellow okay. because it, it neutralizes it a bit orange can look actually it's a very broad color orange and you might think naturally it sits in warm tones but when it's a neon it doesn't a bright orange can sit beautifully across a lot of combinations like a lot of redheads can look beautiful in orange um caramel skin tones can look beautiful in orange when it's going you know even a mm. bright orange really pale skin black hair orange yeah. blondes creatures and cream skin orange it's quite fun to try as well yeah. and find your neon. You're going to try a bit more now, aren't you? Okay, yes. should we get on with yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I love neon green with pink. So I'm going to do a little bit of indie lip glow. Simple, easy, that shot of pink. And the last little bit on my cheek. So one way you can do it is just like a little print. This is this is an intro, I'd say, to neon. Yeah. Um, ASOS, like your dress. Um, but yeah. I feel the difference with this is that shape is also quite architectural. Yes. And we did this in twinning like two years ago, didn't we? And Chloe wore it as a dress and I wore it with dress over trousers. But again, I love that sleeve. I like popping it up and 
I think it's a very, you know, neon green on its own is one colour that I don't actually have here as a full on colour. Mm. I don't think I have a full on neon green. This is as much as I do green because mm -hmm. I don't do it that often. So, so that works for me. And you could then go simple and then just do a nice white earring with it. Yeah. There. I love how the white diffuses the neon actually. It does, doesn't it? Mm. It's, it is that intro. Yeah. And you, you know, neon has lots of prints, tons of things. You can do a scarf in it too. You know, just where it's got a little bit of neon and how much that would jazz something up. So I jazzy. Over this, but it is those soups on. Let's see some of the more looks. So this is interesting. I'm going to show you this, my first bit of neon that I ever bought, but I could do indie lip, but it's kind of matchy matchy. So I did this the other day and I bloody loved what I did. So I'm going to share it with you. So I took Shasha and actually, and I did this kind of literally like this line here, like that like a neon line. You could probably do a thinner line than this. And it just felt like quite modern makeup. Do you see what I mean? It just makes your eyes blue. And then Katie, which is kind of neutral. If you get that pop around the eye, like that. So this is actually the first neon thing I ever bought. And I only just realized that, but this was a Marcus Luther jumper. And the first season he ever did these lips on it must have been like 2000 and six or something but I got it the first the first year and I never wore it because I was scared of how bright it was it's very bright it's very bright I mean this is neon neon like orange 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 yes but I then did the sha sha and I think when you're doing colors this bright it's about what do you do with your makeup and that's sometimes also what puts people off what you were saying earlier Joanne yeah. about how can you make it feel it doesn't wear you so I like the I have done it very badly but that idea of you could do an eyeliner sha sha but something where you're taking the color here and not there and then very neutral lip that's, I've never seen you do that makeup look before I know it's really cool <laughs> I kind of like it I like yeah. it a bit more and then I've got a, um, Alison Olivia trousers which I got on the sale and they're just this is about tonality so how can you tone down neon so that it's not so contrasting with the other thing you're wearing it with? I think if you just put it with like black jeans or something, you'd notice the colour more. So I think having them, yeah. Really, you know. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Um, and it helps if you've got a pedicure to match. I know, I just noticed that <laughs> subtle, totally not non-intentional <laughs> pedicure, which is really close up, very, very tatty. Anyway, tonality with neon. So this is one of my favorite shades, which is that hot neon pink. And I sometimes wear a pinky lip, but I sometimes do lip love and Dahlia and I'll just tap it on. So I get that depth of the coolness. I might just put a little bit on my eyes like that. And then a bit on my cheek. And then I probably go on with Mia to get a lightness then to it. So if I can find it, she's showing me bunny. Yes, like that there. And then I'm going to blend that in. And then on my um, eyes, I'm just going to put whatever it's on left, left on my fingers. There, like that. Full look. I mean, this is only because I haven't done this look before and it's how far can you go? So this is not about tonality. This is, you've got neon on, put more neon on and more and more and more. So this is Serena Butte. But for me, she inspired me to love neon even more because as soon as I started buying that yellow neon shirt and the pink and all the different colors the joy I feel when I wear them so this is Aldous Belmorant it's a very bright pink I, I think I would call it neon I would yeah. um, and this is a slight deep different version but I kind of wear the two together mm -hmm. I have worn these together which I know you've seen just to show you I was like feeling really cold yeah I love winter, this is that a Zara coat uh, unfortunately, oh, is it Balenciaga? One, this is a Balenciaga one. There is one from River Island, which is another version. And I, I, I mean, you can see that now. That's more of a pink pink. Yes. But I've done that with the neon. And but you know, that's full enchilada. And then over this, you know, bag wise, probably. I mean, in this instance, I would probably go there. I'll throw in a bit of yellow. Yeah, that's cool. You know, Would the pink Prada not work because it's a slightly different shade? These are all, you know, pink. Yeah. Like, I think green neon and yellow neon are always one colour. Mm -hmm. I think orange neon is one colour. But I think pink neon could be any of that. Or that's more fuchsia neon. Yeah. But you know what I mean? That you can get all of that and say it's neon pink. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't think it works. It doesn't but I work. I do though. like I the black with the stripe. Another thing I could do is would I do a little... Rainbow? Mm, I prefer the Prada. 
I knew you did because the black stripe. No, that one. Oh, you prefer that one? I prefer the yellow Prada, yeah. Okay, thank you. So let's see some more. Serena Butte moments because there's a few I mean I don't know when you're going to stop because there's a lot so I'm doing really subdued neon now so I'm just going to do very neutral makeup I'm doing Katie on the lip like that and contouring on my cheek where I've sort of blusher it's Katie Shisham so it's a blusher slash highlighter slash bronzer all in one so I'm actually going around my face with this and I'm going to even put it on my eyes too like that so this is something Lila made me buy. It's a pair of sweatpants. I don't usually buy sweatpants, especially ones where I feel I have a willy inside because they're that kind of cut. Unisex delight too. I've got this Mango Spain 3 Euro 99 top, which if it was a normal t-shirt, the proportion makes mm -hmm. this all very baggy and I'm not good about wearing really baggy. So that makes the proportion different already. Did you add the shoulder pads? No, they came with it, but oh. I'm just showing you. I yeah. Just that. So that's one thing I could do. And then I could just take a scarf just to smarten it up like that. And then I could just sling on a white jacket. And it's that kind of, you know, when you want to do super casual, but with some tailoring and still feel cool mm. like that. And then I'm going to actually take that and do my little- The scarf trick. The scarf trick. This is a different shaped scarf. So it's going to get a different look, but it's going to put a lot more neon back up the top. Oh uh, yeah. Like that. That's nice. And then I feel I've got sort of a cool look. I might take the scarf, make it long enough to cover the willy area, <laughs> like that. But it's just a nice way to have an element of neon. So it could be in the scarf, it could be further away from your face. So it could be in a skirt, a pair of trousers, sweatpants. So where would you wear this? I would wear this. <laughs> People say to me, what would you wear shopping? And I wear like shopping for food groceries. I wear everything everywhere. That's the thing, you know, I can, I can, I just do that. And that's how I dress because clothing gives me so much joy. You know that to my mind. But I would wear this like Sunday running around with Lila, you know, just casual. I'd probably put on again a bag like that, you know. Nice. And if, if I put normal yellow with it, ooh, bad. Mm -hmm. And if I put acid, not really. You see, colors can so change when you put them against it. So silver I would do? Yeah. Like one I have here. <laughs> I might do silver. That's nice. Would you ever do a clear bag? Yes, I could easily do a clear bag. I can always do a clear bag. <laughs> I'm gonna end on a classic flourish of a Trini London yellow. Inspiration for all the neon. And the shirt I got in Joe Street Market in the sale from, I think it's called Arc. But you all wanted me to try this on and I hadn't worn this for ages and I got this from Mango. No, Zara, I got this from Zara. God knows how long ago, but I haven't really worn it because the length is weird. So I just thought I'm going to try it again now and see what it needs. So it needs some sharp white with it. The, the idea of the shirt with it, because you've got that, it, the sleeve I remember was a bit short. And so it brings the white grow drain out and it lots the high street can look more expensive if you extend the sleeve length. So I always try and find shirts that are really long so I can put on any coats that I get that are too short. Because mm -hmm. there's a big difference when I look at that huge difference you know versus that yeah so that's my ending really does it work can oh, i wear it together i love it yes you can yeah. so should i keep this coat yes definitely <laughs> i love doing that i'm so happy that we did neon join i hope that you've got lots of tips and tricks oh, me um, too it's yeah. such a great one it doesn't matter the season that's the other thing you might think neon is just for the summer mm. but in a way, neon is needed even more when days are dull because it's it's the kind of category of colours that just electrify how you're feeling. Yeah, and we didn't even think about doing this until people commented, so exactly. please comment. Yeah, I literally, I hope it's going to get cold now because I'm going to walk out the door in this, honey. So next week, um, next week, next week, where are we? So we talked about going back to work and what that looks like and what kind of clothes we want to wear. I was even, you know, looking at that sweatpants look and thinking how can we take sweatpants out the home that's yeah. another one too because we all have been living in sweatpants far more the last couple of years and it might be actually you want to burn them all right but if you like the idea of that comfortableness how do we bring that comfortableness into our everyday life comfort dressing comfort dressing, comfort dressing. so there's lots of choice yeah so leave them down below bye, bye.